Well, three years. That's how long Western New York has been short a federal judge. It's up to the White House to nominate a candidate to fill that position, and we are still waiting. Been a long time, and two on your side's Emily Lampa has been looking into this. And Emily, uh, what is the holdup here? Scott Mary Alice, if you asked anyone involved in this process, they'll tell you that it's lengthy. Candidates have to be vetted, they have to be presented to the White House, and the White House in turn needs to present their nominees to the Senate for confirmation. But as you said, it's been three years and two presidents. We checked with the White House to see if any nominations for the Western New York judgeship are in the works, and the White House hasn't returned our phone calls or emails. With eight other district court judges, how big a deal is being one judge short? Well, we're told that the vacancy is currently listed as a judicial emergency, which essentially means that the current judges in the district have a considerable number of cases to hear at any given time. And we're told federal judges from Vermont have been asked to come in and hear cases to pick up some of the slack. When Senator Chuck Schumer was in town, we asked him if he's heard from the White House. Western New York has had a federal judge vacancy for several yes. years now. Where does the nomination process okay. stand? So the White House has recommended somebody, a Republican. I've seen the name. I've told the White House that I think this would be a good um, uh, nomination for the federal bench, but they haven't made the name public, so I don't want to. So you don't plan to blue slip this person? No. Well, if it's the person they told me, absolutely not. I think it's a good person. And I've checked him out with a lot of the Western New York legal community, and they think he's good, both Democrats and Republicans. Now to explain, a blue slip is an opinion written by a senator from the state where that federal judicial nominee resides. Both Senator Schumer and Senator Kirsten Gillibrand are sent a blue slip in which they may submit a favorable or unfavorable opinion of a nominee. Again, we reached out to the White House to find out who this potential nominee is, but we haven't heard back from them yet. This specific open judicial seat was vacated by Judge William Scretney in 2015 when he stepped aside as a chief federal judge to assume a senior status with the U.S. court. Reporting from the Information Center, Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.